Viewfinder, image, stop recording video, button, viewfinder, image, speech off. Okay, hey guys, I'm back. Matter of fact, okay, so I have my handbag, so this is what I'm doing. Y'all already know, I'm still rocking this same. I don't even know what y'all can see or not, but I'm still rocking this same Longchamp bag. Um, this is pretty much my go-to bag for now until I get another one. I was hopeful to find a Longchamp bag that's on this Nordstrom Rack Clear the Rack sale, the extra 25% off, but everybody's bought them and I'm super late. I guess this this sale started like Saturday or Friday, so and the last day is today, so I'm just late. But um, I still have this bag. I need to organize it and get it ready to go, so this is going to be a chit-chat get ready with me. And... Um, what I'm gonna do is just clean it out, organize, and then I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm gonna tell you guys on items that I consider small leather goods that maybe you do or you don't agree, but I'm gonna definitely talk about items that I consider small leather goods. So you can chime in, let me know, do you agree, you don't, or things that you consider small leather goods that typically may not be considered small leather goods. Um, and you can also tag videos um, down below in the um, comment section that you love watching or that may have some items on your wish list. Or even if you're a YouTuber and you have a video you did, I'd love to watch it. Okay, guys. And welcome, welcome, welcome to new viewers and my subscribers. I love y'all to pieces. This is so much fun. I love interacting with you all and providing content and doing things like this. So anyway, let's get started. So, items that I consider small leather goods. Let me see. I've been trying to do. I try to do a couple of these. Speech on. Viewfinder. Image. Stop recording video. Button. Viewfinder. Image. Double tap and hold to adjust exposure. Viewfinder. Image. Viewfinder. Stop recording video. Button. No. Two minutes. Four seconds. Viewfinder. Know. Image. Double tap and hold to adjust exposure. I don't know. I probably shouldn't even bother. Viewfinder. Image. Double tap and hold to adjust exposure. Okay, I'm just gonna believe it's working out a little bit. Viewfinder. Image. Speech off. Okay. So. Okay, items that I, um, items that I count as small leather goods that may not be counted as small leather goods are things like your designer sunglass cases. I count these as small leather goods, guys. Yes, I do. Um, one reason why these are quite expensive if you were to lose your sunglass case and you do not have a relationship with your um, sales associates, like you don't go to the same place, you just pop in stores, buy stuff and run up out of there. And these, and then you want to buy one, like you have to go, you have Dior Sun Shades and you need to go to the Dior store and you want to ask them for a sunglass case. You guys, one time I had some Tom Ford sunglasses that had, um, they did not have the case. Matter of fact, I bought them out of Nordstrom Rack in Oklahoma City. Can y'all believe North Oklahoma City has a Nordstrom Rack? But they do. Um, but anyway, I bought them and they had they didn't have the Tom Ford case. And I called the Tom Ford closest Tom Ford boutique and asked them how much would one of their sunglass cases cost? You will guess how much. I want you guys to put it in the comments below before I even say this. Put in the comments below how much you think a sunglass, a designer sunglass case for Tom Ford or anyone, Chanel, uh, Ferragamo, Dior, whoever you wanna say, just tell me how much you think these sunglasses cases go for. Okay. Now that I've given you, I'm going to give you like five seconds. Okay. The Tom Ford sunglass case was $458. More than the sunglasses. Not, I'm talking about $458 after tax. It was like right at $500 for a sunglass case for the Tom Ford shades. Now, I had got the Tom Ford shades on clearance. It was like $56, okay? And then they had to clear the rack sale, so they were clearance to $56. I went back in there to get the 25% off because I bought them like on a Wednesday and they started that clear the rack sale like a third the next day or something. I went back, told them, okay, refund them and re-ring them. Those shades clearance to one penny. <laughs> one 
scent, you guys, but I have bought a few Tom Ford shades. At the time, I had an eBay store, and so I was listing them on there and reselling them at a premium. But it was no way I was going to buy the Tom Ford um, sunglass case. No. I just paid one cent. Even if I would have paid 56 minus 25%, what would that have been? That would have been like $11.20 plus another $2.80, $12, $14 off which would have brought it down to 42 bucks. Even if I would have paid $42 for the, sh for the shades, why am I gonna pay 458 for the case? No ma'am, no sir. I would have had to pay, I would have had to sell those for like 550 just to see, you know, my money back. And um, no, and then pay the fees associated with processing that with eBay and stuff. So no thank you. Um, But that's why these are in my um, categorization of a small leather good item they're expensive to replace they're valuable they come with your purchase when you buy the did i throw something out that i need i don't know anyway they come with your purchase when you buy the shades these are my ferragamos and um they give you these really nice microfiber cleanse cleansing cloths and i just leave them in the um i just leave them in the packaging i really never i use like the same one i still have my tag because if i ever need to get them fixed or they ask me like what's the model number or something like that or if i need to take them to Nordstrom for whatever reason i can just show them and then it comes with this um this is another case but it's like a silk it's super soft and it says ferragamo on there salvador is ferragamo and we actually have a store, a full line Ferragamo store in the Linux mall. So if you needed to go in there um, and replace your sunglass case, it's not going to be inexpensive, guys. Because they look at you coming in there to get a case as a sign that you just want a different look. You just want, maybe you don't like hard cases. Maybe you wanted the smooth leather case that you could just slide in a pocket who knows but it's an investment it's a purchase it's a small leather good for me that's what this is okay guys so that's number one on my list of small leather goods okay another item that's on my small leather good list are belts Okay, um, belts are on my small leather good list. Um, I'm just cleaning out my purse if you're just now chiming in with this video. I'm cleaning out my bag because I'm getting ready to go to the store and see. Um, if you watch my um, I tried it all on video last night, then you'll see that the Joe jeans didn't work out. So I'm going over there to see if they have it in a larger size or not. And um, if they have any leggings for like bed biker shorts or like just bottoms for bed, you know. It's like I can never, never get enough. Um, another thing that's in my small leather good items now, guys, is masks. Masks are in my small leather good items. Um, they are in there for real. Um, Cause they have some really cute ones. They have designer ones now. They're all over the internet. Um, and they are in my list of small leather good items are masks. Um, let me see. But yeah, belts are a small leather good for me because the price point is through the roof depending on what you're buying, what designer you're looking at. Um, you can get them from, you know, as low as $250, $200 and as high as $2,500 um, depending on the leather, the design, um, and um the brand i mean you can pay for them and then depending on they're made for men or they made for women um of course the men's belts are way more expensive than the women's 
but of course you have women's belts that go there too so um i definitely find um the belts to be a small leather good another thing i find to be a small leather good are these protective cases um for your devices so if you have an ipad and you have those um keyboard cases and you have those slips that you slide your mini ipad in you have your air airpods and you've purchased these um cases for them and then they have the little soft um ball on there super soft mine is so soft um, or the purse charms. I consider those small leather goods. <laughs> um, I consider, uh, I consider a wallet on chain. I consider those small leather goods all day long. And I consider clutch handbags um, small leather goods, guys. I do consider clutch handbags as small leather goods. And it, if they're small, and I consider fanny packs. Yes, guys, fanny packs. I consider them small though they're good all day long. Um, I'm trying to think what else do I consider a small leather good that may not be usual. Um, yeah, fanny packs. I definitely consider these little mini um, crossbodies. And today, while I'm out, if I come across any of these, I'm going to post them on my Instagram because I want you guys to see what I'm actually calling a small leather good. I find wallets, all wallets, I don't care if it's a large wallet. You guys, I had the cutest guest wallet like 10 years ago. This mug was huge. It was like a Bible, literally. It was like the size of a Bible. It had this huge snap closure like this one and it had um i mean just a snap closure this is not huge at all this is a regular size wallet but it had a huge snap closure and when you would open it it was just card slots all down both sides i mean it was like at least 12 card slots on each side then you could put your id here and then you could slide bills in there but then it had a back a back flap closure where you could put like cash and I mean, this wallet was so cute. I'm trying to think right now what happened to it. I, I do get in my moods where I just get rid of stuff. Uh, I feel like it's time to like reinvent myself and and do that. So, I mean, hey, I probably got rid of it because I do get in those moods. And I'll put it up on my Poshmark and that it'll, it'll be gone. So yeah i consider those to be small leather goods i consider these little mini card holder wallets to be small leather goods i do consider all of these to be small leather goods you put some cash in there i showed y'all this in my what's in my bag video if you want to get more information about it um but that is definitely a small leather good for me let me see what else is a small leather good for me those um those ysl i think they're called lulu bags they call them envelope bags and they're small guys they're little clutches or crossbodies i consider that a small leather good i do not consider that a hand handbag um for me the only way you're going to be classified as a handbag is if i can is if i can get my cell phone let me see where this other phone is that I had earlier. I don't even know where the other phone is. If I can get, let me, I'm about to put it in my hand, what I need to get in the handbag for it to count as a handbag. Okay, here's a phone. Hold on, I'm gonna show you guys in my hand what has to fit in order for me to classify this as a handbag. Y'all gonna be like, girl, I'm like, yep, I'm serious though. I am serious. I should be able to get this and I had like one more thing. What was it? Oh, this. Let me see. Okay, 
let's see. Okay, if I can get all of this in the hand in the bag, it's classified as a handbag. If I can't get all of this in there, it's a small leather good for me. <laughs> and I know you're gonna like really. I put umbrellas in small leather goods too. Yes, I have to have some kind of card holder. It doesn't have to be a mini wallet like this. It can really be a card holder, but I have to have some kind of card holder and it's gonna have to be able to put some cash in there and maybe some change. At least two or three cards. I have and it's a couple of business cards and it has to be, I have to be able to put one of these in there. I have to be able to put some lotion it doesn't have to be this size. It could be smaller, but it has to be, I have to be able to put some lotion in there. I have to be able to put a mask and I usually like to keep a backup mask. I mean, I have to be able to put my sunglass case in there and my, or my sunglasses, period. Oh, let me make a wish. Thank you, Laura, for a beautiful, blessed day. Thank you that um, my family is blessed, encouraged. Thank you that my viewers are blessed, encouraged, that the desires of our hearts are manifested that this is our year that we live in abundance wealth peace love joy that we are blessed with amazing spouses that bring out the best in us and we bring out the best in them thank you lord that you take care of all of our ancestors and our families thank you that we have peace and joy in our hearts um that they are well taken care of in the spiritual realm with you thank you lord that we are blessed everywhere we go today traveling grace that we have patience with each other and understanding that we're not in hurries um thank you lord that we overcome addictions and the only addiction that we have is you leaning on you trusting in you and that you guide us guide our past that you bless our businesses our entrepreneurial um endeavors our relationships Thank you that you give us the best, that we know we are the best and worthy, and that we give the best. Hallelujah. Thank you that we are reflections of your grace and your mercy, and that we just continue to spread um, spread your peace, your joy, your abundance. Your, your, we're blessed to be blessings, and we continue to just spread that truth to each and every person that we go go and interact with each and every day thank you that we are excellent and that where we live is a place of peace we have amazing neighbors that are uh, um, blessed encouraged and that they are vessels of yours and we just thank you for this memorial day and for all service men and women military um that are committed to um being governed by yourself into a better world hallelujah in, in the name of the most high god hallelujah thank you lord amen okay guys so i know you're like really um 3 35 p.m the thing is guys speech off i just found out i was like in the car with a lift driver and um i'm gonna do a video about this too why what do i recommend for transportation um like uber lyft and uh, i'm gonna list some other ones so look out for that video it's, i'm gonna do it today but anyway, I was in a lift. I was talking to my lift driver. And guess what? It ended up being like 222. And he's like, oh, make a wish. I was like, is that what that means? He's like, yeah, anytime it's 111, 222, 333, 444, 555, any of that, 12, 12, 11, 11, 10, 10, 909, like any of that, it means to make a wish. I was like, wow. So I've been doing it ever since, guys. Yes. So now you learn something with me. Okay, so back to the video. Okay, it has to fit my cell phone, guys. You know it has to fit my cell phone because this is my connection to site as well. I order my lips off my phone. I do Apple Pay off my phone if you need to, if you need, you know, whatever. I keep up with my lights. I get alerts. Oh no, hold on. I get alerts. And I know you guys are like, how did she find that that fast? Because it happened to bounce off my foot. And so I knew it was right there by my foot. But anyway, um, on this phone, I order my lifts, my transportation. Um, it gives me alerts about what's going on. I just keep up. I have my notes in here. It has voiceover. I call Be My Eyes on here when I'm lost. I need help. Whatever. So, got to have my phone, guys. That's got to fit in the handbag. My six key ring holder has to fit in there why i gotta get in the house guys it's got my keys if i'm gonna i gotta go probably check the mail whatever i gotta do 
I gotta have it. Plus it has a couple of cards in here and my identification. This is, I really don't do large wallets anymore. Not to say I don't have them, cause I do. And they get so packed and filled with so much stuff that you don't really use. It's like, how many times do you really go to the doctor? I don't need this many cards with me. Or how many times do you really get prescriptions filled, right? Have to keep my sanitizing spray with me, guys. Has to be there. I got this one from Bloomingdale's. It's also in my What's in My Bag video. If you want to know more information about it, just check that video out. Got to keep my sanitizing spray with me. Got to have lip gloss. These are the got to have them. Now, mascara, cream eyeshadow sticks, all that, I don't have to have that in my handbag. These things that I'm showing y'all right now has to be in my handbag. If anything happens and I need to wear my sunglasses, I forgot to put them on, whatever, my eyes are hurting me, this and that, gotta have my sunglasses and put my sunglasses up. If I go somewhere, I need to try some clothes on, whatever, I have to put my sunglasses back in the case. That's the way that I stay organized and that's the way that I keep from breaking them because I lay them down somewhere, I don't know what I did. So all of this stuff has to fit in the handbag for me to count it as a handbag. If it does not fit, it's a small letter good. <laughs> and that's that, guys. If it doesn't fit, it's a small letter good. That's how I live. So anyway, guys, let me know. Comment below if you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do more videos like this, I sure will. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video because I got to get like... I think 18 more videos done today. Speech on. Viewfinder. Image. Stop recording video. Button.